day 1028 i think it's nine o'clock 8 49 i just got off my warriors of god call it went two hours and 45 minutes i stayed on uh later and coached some people it was absolutely incredible it was absolutely amazing god just gave us such incredible wisdom ah oh, i just feel so blessed that Those are the coyotes. Somewhere out there. Oh yeah, standing right in the middle of the street. Probably can't see. There, they're out, there he is. Running, as soon as the sirens. <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous. So. You just look outside and you're like, oh, everything's fine. And then a siren goes off and then you realize that there's like 10 coyotes right outside in the street and you had no idea they were even there. There's like a pack of coyotes <laughs> and you're just like, what the heck? Like, what? Sketchy. So sketchy. Um, but anyway, the call was just amazing. It was incredible. Um, going over uh, a Bible verse about we live and die by the tongue, like what you speak um is what you is what you reap and it was just this incredible god gave me this incredible illustration that when you speak you're planting seeds those seeds grow into crops those crops produce fruit and you have to eat the fruit is what this verse basically says and it we were all just like all of us on the call we were all just like and i was like because i didn't know i didn't know all this and god was just giving me so much wisdom it was just crazy and and it was so powerful it was so powerful and then we went on to create a a, a victory declaration um of the first thing that we're going to say when we get out of bed in the morning to declare victory over these spirits that we're fighting <clears throat> and that is that comes from uh first samuel 17 where david declares victory over goliath before he, he throws the first stone and it was just like I was reading that last night and God just, oh, he just highlighted like this speaking, this victory over, over these spirits that you're fighting, speaking this victory over your situation is like so significant, so important. And so I got to, to really teach that to the warriors, um, tonight. And it was just absolute fire. It was so amazing and incredible. Um, and then one of the warriors, she stayed on to get coaching and uh we were talking about her going out there and living into her purpose and uh she's gonna end up doing a live call every day now moving forward about her uh the daily devotional that she reads because she posts it but she doesn't do a video about it and uh so that was awesome to see her do it it's just it's so fulfilling to see these these warriors like step into their greatness and making so much progress and transforming so much. And it's just like, man, it's incredible. It's such an honor that I get to lead these people. And it's so gratifying and just inspiring and just incredible to see their transformation. Um, and it's just an, the greatest honor ever that God would choose to use me of all the people in this world that he's choosing to use me for this. And so, yeah, it's awesome. And I'm just kicking butt with the gym. Like, my arms are sore. Duh. My chest is sore. Ah, but it feels good. That's victory. Those are victory pains right there. Um, and so, yeah, I'll go to the gym again in the morning. I'm doing a podcast interview with my friend. So I'm driving down to Long Beach uh, to do a, a interview with him, which will be awesome. And then... Uh, Tomorrow's Wednesday. But I don't think I have any, anything else the rest of the day. Maybe one coaching call. I think that's it. I might have tomorrow off. Oh, tomorrow's supposed to be Warrior Wednesday. We might go see a movie or something like that. A social. We might do a social thing. Um, yeah, we'll see. So. Yeah, just. Man, it's such a, a an amazing feeling when God uses you to teach people things and, and he just gives you wisdom as you speak, like 
half the stuff I said, I didn't know I was going to say at all. I didn't even know. And, and God just kept giving it to me. And it's crazy when you speak and while you're speaking, you're learning what you're saying. Like, it's just, a, it's a crazy experience. I think a lot of speakers experience that. They get into the flow and God just really gives them the words. Um, I think a lot of preachers feel that. And you can tell when they're in that flow because it's like, it's God moving. And so it's, it's just fun to get into that and just for God to show up because as I'm speaking, I'm not thinking about anything I'm saying. I'm just totally present, speaking completely from my heart. And then God drops some bombs and it's just, and I'm just like, what? That's crazy. And on that call, I was like, guys, this is crazy. And they're like, yeah, this is crazy. And it's just like, wow. And that's like, I know it was God. It's not me. Like, I wouldn't be shocked. And so, yeah, I just feel very blessed, very grateful. Um, and one of the best things about all this is I'm preaching what I practice. Like, I don't feel like a fraud this is one of the first times ever in my life where I don't feel like a fraud at all. Like I'm doing the work, I'm kicking butt, I'm going to the gym, eating super healthy, I'm waking up early, like I'm not slacking, like I'm doing so, so good. Little things of laziness, I'm just crushing 95% of the time. Um, yeah, I just feel like I'm I'm standing in so much victory. And so I can I can coach them so much more powerfully because I'm actually a demonstration of it and yeah it's exciting so good good stuff thank you lord